Ok? Alright. Guys, bonjour, nous connaissons moi, nom c'est Franz Polin, c'est un plaisir. Pour moi, toujours apparaître dans la chaîne là, là, pour nous capables de faire des interviews. Ça. So, je dis à la main avec Monica. Yes. Et Monica, pendant que je m'a visité toutes 22 heures, mm -hmm. so, je me demande à Monica, est-ce qu'elle veut faire des interviews avec mm -hmm. Et Je suis très content que Monica ait accepté. Mais avant que je me visite avec Monica, je me fais un bon temps parler avec lui pour me faire un fil de ça que je vais poser des questions. Et ça fait que je me fais confident que je me cache dans la pour me parler avec Monica sans problème. Donc, so, Monica, introduit par Anati Mayo. Uh, hello, I can speak in, in English. Yeah, yeah, right? English, okay. yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. <coughs> That's okay. We're in camera. Come here, come yeah. here. She's going to be my next. Your next interview. Vendor can be an interview too. Say, come on, Ellie. Vanya. Vanya. So, we'll interview Vanya super too. So, pour bien dire nous, bon ben contexte là là, c'est l'an annuel festival 18 mai qui est supposé fêter hier, mais malheureusement à cause de la pluie, il a été cancellé. Donc so, aujourd'hui c'est so le 19. Le 19. So, I'm sorry, I have to go. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Le 19 et qu'il y a fait là. Je te respecte plus de monde, mais dommage que par exemple tout le monde est venu. So, Monica, I you have it, Monica. Yes, uh, my name is Monica. Um, I am Haitian American. Um, I was born here, but I lived in Haiti for about eight years. Um, when I was younger, um, mostly in Port-au-Prince, a little bit on the countryside, a little bit north. Um, Dizin and Gonaive, where my parents are from. Okay, from Gonaive. Um, right? Yeah, yeah, Gonaive and, and Dizin. Um, Dizin, okay. Dizin, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then I moved here. I stayed in Boston for a little bit. Um, that's where I did my like middle school and um, high school. Graduated. Then I came to DC um, to study civil engineering. Um, graduated, and I've been in DC ever since, or DMV ever since. So you work as an engineer, uh, civil engineer. So I studied civil engineering. Um, I, I'm not a licensed engineer. Um, I've worked as, as a project manager. Project manager. Yeah, project manager um, for since I graduated. So for so the past that five is years. when I came to talk to you. I was seeing you reading that book. Yeah, yeah. I'm studying for um, the PMP, which PMP. is project management professional. So you want to um, get a certificate on that? Yeah, it's a certificate that you can get, which basically no, it, it it tells people that you know how to facilitate work. No matter what the work is, it could be in tech, it could be in construction, it could be, um, it, you can use it in, in different ways, but it just shows people that you're a leader and you're able to pull a group of people together and recognize people's strengths and make it uh, work to the, the, the betterment of the, the project, right? right? Yeah. Now, is it your first time coming to this event here? Uh, no, it's my second time, actually. My second time. Yeah, I, I came... I think maybe two or three years ago. So what is yeah. your first impression here? Um, from what you see? I think it's good. I think it's good. I mean, there's not a lot of um, like Haitians. There's not as much Haitians in the DMV as there are in like places like Miami and New York, right? So um, I think it's good that we still have something in the DMV, whether it's small or not, that we can come and um, just it's celebrate Black right. Day. Because um, yeah. it's an important day for all of us. Um, we all have a sense of community on that day, um, which we don't see a lot, you know, yeah, in the yeah. in the media um, with Haitians. So I think it's a very important day, and I think it's important yeah. for us. I to, see the food, yeah, uh, the display, right. all the vendors, yeah, the yeah. Haitian craft, you right. know. Right, right, right. So I'm I'm gonna be talking to some of them, uh -huh. but in the meantime, you said that you are a civil engineer. Yeah. Transition to being a vendor and you selling like herbs. Right. Yeah. Tell me about your that transition. Um. So so it's not really a transition. It's just something that I I do. I I, That's I do your both. Hobby. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a hobby. Time. Yeah. Um. So my brand is called Lakai Goods. Um. L a k a y g o o d s. Um. And it really came out of. It started during COVID. So 2021. Um, where I was all already a tea drinker. Um, I always um, had um, kind of like an affinity to just like know about my uh, my ancestral roots. Um, and when COVID hit, I just started thinking about like how crazy the world was and how a lot of people, or a lot of other people, not really Haitians, but a lot of other people didn't really know what to do because it was like, 
um, like, you know, people were doing weird things in order to, like, uh, keep their, like, immune system up. Um, but Haitians, we knew what, what to do, exactly. right? Yeah, like, yeah. I feel like I got messages from my my mom, my grandmother, my, my aunts on what to do, right? And it was all these, like, remedies, right? So that, your grandmother still alive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that, they, that they shared with me. So I said, you know, like, there's a lot of things, like, Haitian people, like, inherently were people of, like, the earth, right? Okay. It goes back to our history and the, and the way that we, you know, um, use herbs in, like, the Haitian Revolution. You know what I mean? So it's, like, it's always been in our fabric. Like, any Haitian that you know loves drinking tea. Yeah. Um, so I just felt that, like, the tea uh, just kind of made sense. Um, but I also wanted to just be a way for us to feel connected as well because there's things that um, me living in the DMV, I don't have access to. Maybe someone who lives in Miami who's like closer a little bit, you know, they have like Haitian sh stores that they can go to, but here you don't, right? So having a, a website or uh, a person that like has, can bring those type of stuff um, to the Americas and and package it um, for you, I think, is also a benefit as well, right? I like the packaging. Yeah. So, exactly, where do you get your your ingredients, the yeah. raw material? Where do you get them? Yes, yeah, so they're, they're all from Haiti. So, um, like I said, my family's from, from Dezin, so They I rely, send them from there to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, they, 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 um, they deal with, like, maybe three or four vendors, um, and then, uh, or farmers, really. Um, and then they negotiate the price on my behalf, then they package it, and then they uh, drive to Port-au-Prince, put it on um, a plane, and then the plane lands here. Yeah. So it's kind of costly uh, it for is, you to have them come in here. It is costly, yeah. Um, so that's why, I mean, a lot of people, I mean, not a lot, but like there's people, the people who don't really have a focus on supporting black businesses, okay. mm -hmm. They come to me and they say, oh, you know, wow, like $10 for sugar cane syrup. Like, I can go to Haiti and get that. Yeah. Or, oh my God, like, it's was shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I hear that a lot, but... But um, they don't know how expensive it is. Exactly. It's expensive to bring it here. For you to have it come in here. Exactly. Yeah. The, the fees, the duties that you have to pay to get... Um, well, honestly, to, to get it onto the plane in, in Haiti is, a, is uh -huh. an issue. And then when it comes here, you got to tell these people at customs, like, okay, this is not, it's not drugs, it's not anything crazy. You have to do a lot of forms. You got to pay um, to have them released. Um, and it's hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So that's why, you know, you got to get it in big quantities so, so it can make sense. Yeah. So you have to kind of blend them. Yeah strip them and then to make them like in that in that form yeah 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 so where do you get you order those yes uh from amazon from amazon yeah and then you do your own label yep yep and then you put i them. have a printer yeah and i you yeah. have a printer and yeah. then those yeah you order them and then you do your yeah, own I design have, yeah yeah so i order the bags um and then i do the labels as well and then i have a stamp that i stamp it and then that's it. and how much you sell those for uh, the big bags are eight dollars for the tea, and then the small kind of sample sizes are five. Uh, um, and then I have sugarcane served for ten. Okay, now. Yeah. Since I'm not big into herbs, uh -huh. so explain the benefit in terms of health wise. Okay. Well, um, so in general, because um, I, I don't know if you want to know like specifically. No, not specifically. Yeah. Generally speaking. So if you think about plants right they have like vitamins and minerals right so um the the benefit is you because you can drink tea every day any time of the day it's because there's vitamins that um are in there in the in the actual plant that you ingest and help you in certain ways whether it's like vitamin k b whatever it is right there's a multitude of benefits that you might not be able to get from just eating your regular meals every day that you need to supplement so it's kind of like taking a um, like drinking cup of tea is kind of like taking a vitamin, right? Um, there's a lot of deficiencies um, in just eating like regular foods. Like there's ways that you can get them directly um, in your body. Like it's, it's not like um, like for example, if you're eating a um, if you're eating a banana, right? You're trying to get potassium from it, right? So instead of having to eat a banana, your body has to like. Uh, use energy to break down, to break down that yeah. banana mm -hmm. and to also um, and to also like digest it and then pull the, the uh, potassium out of it then use it for your body versus with the tea as soon as you hit the water it's infusing all those those vitamins into the water and you're drinking it straight so your body's not doing as much much work, much work. to get to that nutrients 
um, as you would if you were eating food. So you are a, a tea drinker yourself? Yeah, yeah. You drink, drink tea yeah. every morning? Every morning. Every morning, sometimes at night as well. Yeah. So if I were to buy a bag like this, how yeah. do I push it? How do you how do you how do I push it to drink it? What do oh, I do? Oh okay, so you, you warm up some water. Mm -hmm. Um so it's loose leaf. Um so you warm up some water. If you have an infuser, um you put it into the infuser and then you pour the water in there and then you let it steep for a little bit. And usually an infuser will have a filter in there uh -huh. so that when you pour it the herbs don't come out. Uh -huh. Um you can also buy um compostable tea bags as well. Uh -huh. Um, from Amazon, I think they're like five dollars for like a th uh, hundred of them. Um, so you can put it in the bag and then put it in your cup and then you pour the water. Um, oh, can you just put like one spoon? You said, right? Yeah, yeah. By a Any spoon. cup, put the hot water and then when everything is stirred up yeah. and then use like a pasta Yeah, yeah. Then you yeah. filter. Yeah, you can do it that way. Yeah. And that yeah. way, that I think that easier. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah or I mean, there's also like. Um, these like like metal like passwa looking yeah, things. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they make them really small yeah. so that you can you can do a little bit easier than like using a big passwa. So one bag yeah. like this, how long will this last you? Um so, Based on your so experience? in terms of cups that probably it, it should give you about ten cups. Ten cups. Yeah, ten cups of tea. So you sell them eight dollars? Yeah. So it's like almost like one dollar, dollar, less than a dollar per cup. So yeah. drink tea. Yeah, versus going to Starbucks and getting tea for five dollars for one cup okay. of tea. So what is your outlook in terms of this business? Do you plan to expand or like yes, like a Yes, I would. Business? I would like to, um, but because I, the whole reason is for it to be a brand that um, is Haitian focused, right? To bring Haitian business, right? Because. I want to support local farmers in Haiti okay. um, and we benefit each other um, because of things going on right now in uh, in Haiti um, it's a little bit slow for me to get yeah. raw material um, so I would like to expand but it all depends on how yeah. well the country is doing. I mean I think within one yeah. or two years thanks my set yeah, up yeah, 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 and yeah. then hopefully because yeah. things cannot yeah. stay like that forever. Right. It can't, it can't, yeah. it can't. Now tell yeah. me exactly about this. The sugar cane syrup. Yeah, so straight from Haiti too? Yep, yeah, straight from Haiti. I don't add anything to that. Only the, the herbs are blended with other things. So what is the benefit of it? Um so when you have this. Yeah, so the the so it's a it's a natural sweetener. Just to put in your tea. Yeah. You can put it in tea. You can really mix it a, a lot of different ways. It's just a it's a sweetener. So think of the way that you use honey, right? Mm -hmm. Um uh, you can put it in tea, you could also bake with it, right? Yeah. You could also um uh, yeah, I've, I've baked with it a couple times. Like I put it as like a glaze. Like if I'm making a donut, I could put that as a glaze on top. Uh -huh. The the benefit of it, instead of using sugar or honey, is that it has an even lower glycemic index. Okay. Right. So if you're someone who's watching your sugar, or you're diabetic, yeah. um, or pre-diabetic, I'll say, um, you can use sugar cane syrup instead of getting, you know, the the straight sugar. So you think this yeah. is good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you could just drink it straight. Really, How much you sell it for? It's $10. $10? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then how much you sell the, this, oh, the no, samples? this one? Oh, so those are just for you to smell. Oh, They're to just, smell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to, to open see. it and smell, yeah. So, and this one here, what kind of peppermint? Yeah. Lemongrass? Uh-huh. Eucalyptus? Eucalyptus, Jasmine? Yeah. And sage? Yeah. So each one is different? Yep, each one is different and they, they all kind of, the names kind of give you what, what, what they're for. So like the joie is kind of like, it's a sweet thing, so it's kind of like, it gives you a little bit of energy because um, of the pineapple and the hibiscus. Um, hibiscus is also good for your skin. Um, it helps to like tighten your skin. Um, and it's also good for uh, blood pressure, blood pressure regulation. Um, and This one? Yep, and then it also has pineapple, it has that dehydrated pineapple in it which is um, good for digestion. Um, so it's, it's kind of an all-in type thing, and it's, it's also sweet, which is a good benefit, right? Okay. Um, you don't have to add much sweetener to this one. Um, so each one is different based on your condition, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or based on what, what, of what you want it to do for you. So like if you, if you want something that, you know, it's like maybe one o'clock, 
uh, in the afternoon and you just want some tea, you want it cold maybe, you you do the joie, right? Because it's like the happiness to it. Jose, it's like if you if it's like 8 p.m. and you just want something to kind of like cool you down and like make you relax, that's where the pose comes from, right? Because that's why the names are the name. Yeah. So each yeah. name has a joie. That yeah. means you're happy. Joy. Yeah. Joy. Yeah. Like and you drink it for just for fun. Right. Right. But this one is just to calm you down. Right. 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 Exactly. And then coffee. Means that well, I don't we have, have any more coming. No, I sold out of the company. Company wants to give you energy. Right, right. Well, not energy, but immunity. Immunity. Yeah, immunity. From yeah. what? Uh, from well, from like like different sicknesses, like colds, flus, all that type of stuff. All the company are gone. Yeah, all the company is gone. Yeah, that was the last of it. So. So if I were to buy one from you, because uh -huh. since you grace me that interview, because uh -huh. I'm gonna have to make sure. Oh, support uh, you. Yeah, sure. Of course, I'm gonna sure. support you. So which one you? I would recommend. Recommend. Um, I honestly like joie a lot. Yeah, like I, okay. I think I drink it most because uh, I have a sweet tooth, so I, I tend to go for the joie because. And then, do you have to put sugar in it, or just um, drink it? So like I would. I have a sweet tooth, so I, I put sugar in my tea. But the the good thing about having the pineapple in the in the hibiscus, they work really well together in there. So you don't have to add as much sugar. Yeah, to it. Because it kind of already has a light sweet yeah. to it, like a tangy sweet to it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So basically speaking, young people that are watching this interview, because mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken, you are probably in your late twenties, right? Yep. Yeah. You came here when you were nine, you said. Yeah. And then, okay, you're not thirty yet. No. Okay. You're not twenty-five too. No. So you are between twenty-five and thirty. Yeah around that area. Yeah. Anybody that is watching this interview, yeah. what can you tell young girls that are watching you? Um, hmm, what can I tell girls? Or just, just young oh, people gen, in general, Young right? people in general. Yeah. Girl or boys? Yeah. Um, I would say if you're someone who lives here as a girl or, or, or boy, and you're growing up in this country, um, I would say one, never forget your roots. Um, there's a lot of sacrifices that were made to bring you to this country um, and there's still a lot of sacrifice that you got to do on your part to help our country back home. So like just never forget about that because I think a lot of times, um, especially when you're a second generation um, and you know like you don't feel too connected, you know like um, maybe you don't know the language as much, don't be shy or, or don't be deterred to really like learn like take some time to understand mm -hmm. your your ancestral ancestral roots, roots yeah, yeah. yeah um so i would say that one um and then two i would say just like make sure that um you take all the opportunities that that are out there um and to just make sure that you you make you know the people that did those sacrifices you make, make them proud make right because that's that's they they did they made that sacrifice for a reason and um it's your duty to kind of make sure that that comes to fruition. And then what made you choose civil engineering? Um, so, uh, so my sister's an architect. Um, my dad did a little bit of, of engineering as well. He actually ended up being a lawyer, uh, which is like, he kind of, he like double majored. Yeah, 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 he dived into a lot of different things, but I've always had people in my family that were just like builders, like people that who um, uh, like to, see things come together and are just like leaders um, and growing up and visiting Haiti once in a while I always saw how infrastructure was a really big problem um, and I learned about different like waves of things that kind of came into Haiti um, and I still see a lot of like um, area to grow right in terms of infrastructure for example building codes we don't have building codes um, I think that's like step number one really to like tell people you can't build house on top of house on top of house um, we need more roads right there's no reason why a country has been around for hundreds of years and only has one highway um, we need railways right um, I think back in the I don't even know when but at some point the McDonald company um, had started a railway system to connect Port-au-Prince uh, Jacques Mel and Papa Haitien. They've abandoned it for some reason. I don't know exactly uh, why, but um, I think there's still places, there's still 
areas in Haiti, if you go now, you can still see the train tracks that they had laid down, but they, again, they never finished it. So like things, basic things like that, that can like grow our economy because the people are able to, they don't have to take a, you know, three camionettes and yeah. then, you know, just to be able to sell their food, exactly. they could just take the train or the trains, yeah. you know, kind of like what, um, we need transportation. Yeah, Another transportation. Another point you to yeah. develop, transportation yeah. is a mess. Exactly. Yeah. Transportation, infrastructure in general. So those were most of these things that inspire, inspire you. you. Yeah, yeah. To seeing the mic, like I, raise, uh, being raised here and seeing how well, like how well America ran, right? Um, and seeing kind of like the disparity in Haiti, it just made sense that as a Haitian American, that that is something that. So based um, on how you talk, if Haiti were to be in a better place, in a better place where to be safe, yeah, and then everything goes back to normal. Yeah. Do you plan you can go back to Haiti and help? Yeah, that's always been the goal. Um, again, if it's safe. Stable, yeah, it's yeah. stable, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I think um, one of the reasons why I have an entrepreneurial spirit is because you know, like life runs on money, and I need money. Um, to be able to do certain things, right? So if I want to be able to um, move myself to Haiti and like build my own house so that I can like set my roots, that's gonna cost money, right? Um, so it, that, that kind of also influences the reason why I got my degree and where I got it. Um, and also why I, I just want to keep an entrepreneurial spirit because I, like you said, like that time is going to come. I don't know about two years, but um, it is gonna come and when that time comes, I, I do plan on um, you know, being able to give my efforts here and there as well. So do you plan to get your license as a civil engineer? Uh, no, no, I don't actually. You don't um, plan to do that? No, because um, I don't necessarily think that it's important. There's a lot of Haitian civil engineers out there, right? And and, and just civil engineers in, in general, right? I think that what Haiti needs, and you spoke about this before, we need facilitators, right? Yes. That's the most important thing. Because even here in America, we have a lot of Haitians that are doctors, architects, right? But for some reason, we haven't been able to, even here, come together and say, what can we do for Haiti? We need we need more people who are facilitators, that are leaders, okay. in ways that they can bring people together. So I'm, I'm perfectly comfortable as, for example, like being a project manager, to where if, let's say, um, in like three years from now, right? The Haitian government says, hey, we want to include people from of the diaspora in our efforts to make our country better right so they call upon people here right I can be one person that they uh, use to kind of be as a consult right mm -hmm. and we have civil engineers in Haiti too you have yes. people who study stuff yeah so 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 if those civil engineers who are on that kind of like cons council right need someone who has worked in America who knows about kind of the structure and the mm -hmm. standards that we set they can bring someone like me and I don't necessarily need to have a civil engineering degree. Okay. I need to have the ability and the um, the knowledge of how to bring people that together. That really together. Because that's more important than actually having the talent, you know, because that can get siloed, you know. But you took the courses, yeah. you I did could, get a I degree. Could, yeah, I could do it. I could do it. I just think that... But you went to college to be a civil engineer. Right. You just didn't go and get the license. Right. That's right. the only difference. Yeah, yeah. You, I told you my daughter, she is going for it. Yeah. So I'm going to keep your contact, so probably you might yeah. be her mentor. Oh, yeah, that's so true. So she will probably true. call you and then give her advice. Yeah, so she, yeah, yeah, no, civil engineering is very She tough. goes to Georgia Tech now. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, that's a great school. That's yeah. a great school. Yes. Yeah. Now, this is a personal question that I'm going to ask you now. Mm -hmm. So we done with the aspect of everything about the herbs i would say mm -hmm. now i am very fascinated uh, by looking at you mm -hmm. you kind of taking me back to see as a young black asian woman mm -hmm. then you are very natural you keep your hair natural i see there's no fake nails yeah tell me a little bit about it um because most black women i see always fake hair fake nails so and then which i hate I, totally i, I will i and will tell you that compliment I, I, I will tell you that this is me like 80% of the time. Sometimes I do get I do get nails. You do get Sometimes nails. I do wear wigs. Um, but I think like to my core, um, like I said, it's 80% of the time I'm like this, where 
I'm just comfortable. That's just kind of always been like how I was ever since I was young. Um, like, like I used to get in trouble like because I wanted to wear like just jeans and you know like I was that type of person okay. growing up. Um, and it's just less maintenance, really, yeah, right? Yeah, that's the um, I'm also very cheap, so like to be no, able not to. No, not cheap. You're frugal. Yeah, I'm frugal, so uh -huh. it's also a lot of money. Like for me to get my nails done, it's at least a hundred dollars, right? That's true. To get those extensions, it's expensive. For me to get my hair done, it's again expensive. So um, I look at it from that point. It's comfortable. It's more comfortable, right? I'm not like having to put something on all the time, um, and I'm not spending money. That's really the only reason. It's not because I don't think it's pretty. Um, it's just because I I care more about saving my money That's good. and being more comfortable. Okay, very yeah. good. All right, that's been a pleasure. So I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. And your endeavor and that Thank business. You. Thank and you. so far, you said you spent so much money. Mm -hmm. Have you get to be break even yet, or you still uh, on the? I'm still on the cusp, to be honest. Yeah, okay. actually, I'm trying to think. No, I'm on the cusp. I'm, I think I might. I think I might have. I need to look at my financials again. But last time I looked at it, like late last year, I was like right on the cusp. Right on the cusp. Yeah. But I think that you have a very good idea. Mm -hmm. Keep at it. Mm -hmm. You know, because tea is something that we do a lot. Yeah. And then you yeah. say this. And it's my patients too. Like yeah, yeah. a lot for of everybody. people love tea. So you have your website. Yeah. And what is the name of your website? It's lakaigoods.com. Lakaigoods. Lakaigoods.com. I'm yeah. going to put that in the yeah. description. Lakaigoods.com. Yeah. yeah. And then is in the website they have your contact there. Yeah. They can contact yep, you. Yep, yep. And it's lakaigoods at gmail.com. Yeah. And then you ship all over. Yes, in all over the US. Yes, all over the US. US. Yeah, yeah. And then you charge for shipping or? Yeah, the, the, there's a shipping charge. Yeah. There's your shipping charge. Yeah. Okay. And there's also, if you're in the DMV, there's local delivery up to uh, a 10 mile radius in and around DC. So if you want to. Oh, if you, you live know, in. Yeah, in yeah, 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 yeah. It's like all a flat, right. I think it's five bucks. If you so as deliver. I said, I keep my word, I'm going to buy this one. Okay. Eight dollars. Okay, yep. Which because I have to support you. Yeah. You know. And get you and a bag. Then, thank you very much. Of course. For according me your precious time to yeah. talk to me. You're welcome. All right. There you go. All right. Yeah. And then I just give you the tips too. Oh, okay. Oh, thank yeah, you. Oh yeah, yeah. I give you tips thank because you. I have to encourage you. Thank you. Because when thank I mean, you. always good when you see young, young kids mm -hmm. doing this. So yeah. I'm gonna end up the guys as you can see. So Monica. Yeah. That's the name. Tu réellement très encourageant pour te parler avec nous. Mostly the interview it is in English. So yeah. see what people pay. Yeah, sorry. I guess that you. No, it's not sorry. Because <laughs> if you live in United States, you have to be able to speak English. Yeah, that's we got that. So okay, guys. So if you guys have any question, feel free go to that website, yeah. lakaigoods.com. Yeah. As you can see in the screen, and then don't be shy. You can call Monica. Mm -hmm. You have your phone number on the website too? No. no. no, no, no. They can email, email you. Yeah, it's my email. And then they can ask you questions yeah. about all type of herbs. Yeah. And then can you make like special comments for people? If they tell you what they want, can you mix this for them? It all depends on what I can get from Haiti. From Haiti. Yeah. So like I've I've had I have more blends in this. I just don't have them in stock right now because I'm it's a little bit difficult. So now you're so, waiting for more stock to come. Yeah. Because yeah. of the situation in Haiti. Exactly. So hopefully things will yeah. subsidize yeah. and then yeah, they have suggestions of things that they think that I should add. If I don't already have them, I'll definitely entertain it. Yes. Yeah. And then because of this, you have to study about herbs, you have to study about woods. Yeah. And now you become a botanist now. Yeah. That's, well, I don't know if I'd call myself that yet, yeah. but that's what I'm striving for. Okay. Yes. All right. So, Monica, it is a pleasure. Yep. Thank uh, you. Sitting you, talking to you. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, guys. Again. Comme moi dis nous, ma parle comme si tu avais l'autre monde encore pour monter nous l'autre interview comme ça ben nous parce que moi parle pas avec plusieurs monde comme vendeurs. OK Monica. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you.